Hi everyone, welcome to our Runway to Home Inspiration from New York Fashion Week webinar. I'm Olivia, I'm sure I've met a lot of you at some house events before, so thanks for joining again this morning. Um, I'm excited to run through this webinar today, it should be a pretty fun one. So I'll be running you through the session today and joining me is my colleague Emily. Some of you may have also met Emily or spoken to her on the phone before, and she's here online to answer any questions that you may have. <clears throat> so if you do have any questions, or if at any point you can't hear me or the slides aren't advancing, please do let us know. Uh, just ask a question in your GoToWebinar control panel. Um, that's how you can ask a question straight to the organizers or to the whole group. So here's our agenda for this morning. So during today's webinar, we'll discuss firstly just the five layers of hows. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with them already, but just mostly focusing on hows editorial. Then we'll dive into the home inspirations and trends taken straight from New York Fashion Week. And we'll really just show you how these can be applied in your home. Also, we are recording today's session, so don't worry about taking notes or if you happen to miss anything at all, because we will just send you the recording straight after this. So if you are attending this webinar, you probably do know a lot about hows already, but for any new users, just here's a bit of uh, context and background. Hows is the largest residential design database in the world. Hows is a vibrant community and is the easiest way for people to get design inspiration, project advice, product information, and get in touch with the professionals that they need to help turn their design ideas into reality. Hows is founded by a husband and wife, so Adi and Alon, uh, who are still our CEO and president in the States, uh, in 2009. And they were basically in the midst of a renovation in their own home, during which they really struggled to find the right inspiration, information, and the professionals that they needed and that suited their aesthetic in their home. They really yearned for a one-stop shop, so just one place where they could find and store all of their ideas and all of their info. And from there, House was born, and since has grown to have these five distinct layers that are all tied together by really smart technology that really does just ensure that house is such an end-to-end -end solution for anyone in the home design, renovation, or decoration space. So to just fly through those five layers, we have photos. So any photo that you upload to your professional profile goes into our photo stream. We have a lot of photos, so millions and millions of photos, 14 million in fact, and this is where we know our users spend the most amount of time. So they're in here looking through rooms, through styles, locations, budgets, really filtering it down to what it is they like and what it is they're looking for. The best thing about the photo stream is that every single photo is watermarked with that professional's work. And it's not just a watermark, it is a link back to your own profile. So you can see Canny Design. I can click on that, on that first photo, and go straight to their profile and get in contact with them or just see what else it is that they do. We have Find Professionals. So you have a professional profile on house and you immediately go into this Find Professionals section basically a business directory where users can come in and they can search for the category that they want in the location that they want. Then we have products. So in Australia, we are not an e-commerce platform. You don't sell directly through house. We don't have an add to cart option where people can shop within the platform. But basically, you can showcase your products, huge uh, national brands and retailers, they showcase their products as well as really small makers as well. Every single photo is linked to your profile again and it's also linked to your website so people can just purchase that product as they normally would. We then have house discussions and our house discussions or advice section up the top right has rec recently just had a big revamp so it does look great if you haven't checked it out already. But you can jump in here and search by uh, location and category for different kinds of discussions and really just get in contact with not only other professionals, but just house users and the house community. You can answer a question, you can ask a question, you can show off a before and after, and you can vote in polls. So it's a really nice place to just showcase your expertise 
and just get your name out there a little bit more. We then have stories. So our stories section is fantastic. Um, we basically house hundreds of articles in here, all written by our in-house editorial team. We have one here in Sydney, and we have one in the UK, in Russia, in Tokyo, all around the world that really focus on local stories for our local markets. We also use professional contributors. So professionals like you, if you are interested in writing a story, Featuring in a story, you can always get in touch with our editorial team. All of these articles are also sent out to you twice a week in our Howes magazine that gets emailed. So if you haven't kind of subscribed to those yet, I would definitely do so, just so you can stay on top of those latest stories. You can see on the left-hand side there, there's a lot of different categories of story. And one that I'll just showcase now are our trend reports. So this is kind of most relevant to what we're talking about today, talking about a lot of trends. And in here is where you can basically keep up to date with the biggest trends from the Danish Design Fair or from Milan, um, any kind of amazing new trends in color, in landscaping, or anything like that you'll find in our trend reports, which I can link to you after uh, the session again. So those five layers are really showcased on every single photo on House, and that's why people love us. That's why consumers keep coming back to House, because it is such an integrated consumer experience. I can see just on this one photo, I can obviously love the photo, get inspired. I could look at the product that's tagged in that photo. I could read an article that this photo has been featured in. I could ask a question straight to this photo, and I can get in touch with a professional who designed this work straight from a photo. That's why users love us, and that's why also professionals love us, because they do get a lot of exposure from just every single photo that goes online. That has led us to exploding globally. So we now have 40 million unique users coming on the site every single month. 1.5 million in Australia alone. I mentioned we have 14 million photos on the site. And we also last year won the best app of the, uh, best app of the year at the Google Play Awards, which is a pretty big deal. So we're very excited about that. But now let's dive straight into Runway to Home. So inspiration from New York Fashion Week. So obviously inspiration for home decor can come from anywhere. So from nature, your own wardrobe, a famous architect, a foreign film, or from the looks that debuted at New York Fashion Week. So I'm going to cover seven pairings here, where basically each room really evokes the colors or the mood of a runway look. These major trends were identified by Erin Carlisle. So Erin is part of our editorial writing staff in the US, and she shared a great trend report on these runway to home inspirations. And again, I can link you that article straight after this. So onto our first pairing. So at the Anna Sui show, there was a big draw towards the relaxed vibe of a bohemian scheme. So with its seemingly thrown together attitude, looks were really kept together though and quite refined. So even though they were quite bohemian, quite relaxed, there were a lot of polished edges and really glamorous finishes. So boho doesn't have to be just a clash of prints and crazy colors. This trend is really of boho glam. So it's about creating a striking blend of relaxed style with luxurious glamour. And this living room on the right is by Charlotte Crossland Interiors. And this really does channel the same rich toned bohemian vibe, albeit in a more traditional format. Much more traditional than that modeling duo that are on the left hand side there. This next living room really continues in the same vein. So to get this boho blend look in your own home or in your client's home, it's all about incorporating those warmer, deep hues with really glam metallic accessories, luxe textiles, and really opulent, more jewel colors. And if there's one item that really screams 70s boho, it is the iconic peacock chair. And although it's mostly associated with more hippie or floral living spaces, it can be really attention grabbing and this fantail wicker chair can really trace its origins right back to Southeast Asia in the 17th century actually, not just that kind of 70s 
vibe. And having bobbed in and out of fashion over the years, the boho chair is really seeing a big resurgence and is the perfect place if you want to really kind of play with scale and add height to a room that normally has a lot of low slung seating. So moving on to our next pairing, we're moving into luminescence. So luminescence was a smaller trend that we saw at uh, a New York Fashion Week show. And now we're looking to fashion designer Song Jung Wan. And this bathroom is by Fillmore Clark Tire Studio. Wan's fall show, fall show was a real throwback in time. And she really turned out a collection filled with opulent references to the 80s. So again, a bit of a throwback. She had exaggerated silhouettes, bold colors, rich fabrics that were really combined and spliced in an interesting way. The luminescence of the Fillmore Clark bathroom on the right hand side, their aqua tile really echoes the sheen of the aqua dress, while the chair really reflects the deeper tones of the designer's floral print. A real nod to the 80s and a very confident color choice. Now looking to fashion designer at Desigul and wallpaper company Brewster Home Fashions. So the tongue-in-cheek nature of this room on the right, with its animal prints, its zesty pink accents, the fun hanging chair, it really does match the mood of the models who literally skipped down the runway at this designer's fall collection this year. So bold or hot pink is a tone that people tend to ignore when choosing a colour scheme for their interiors or even for their exteriors as well. So after all, the warm, rosy hue is commonly associated with all things cute, feminine, and quite frivolous. So it's understandable why home decorators, stylists, and interior designers do shy away from using the shade and opt for colors with a bit more universal appeal. So while decorating with uh, this kind of really fresh pink tone can be quite tricky, it is possible to create a space that looks grown up and looks quite sophisticated rather than just girly and very sugary sweet. The key is really to find a shade that suits your personality or the personality of your client and their own particular design style. Then you start introducing neutrals, on-trend colors, or modern accents to really add balance and bring the space into the now. So to get the look, We've really seen people dressing your walls in a high voltage fuchsia for the look that's a bit more daring and it really kind of packs a punch like this example on the left hand side. So in this contemporary breakfast nook, the pink walls are very energetic, they're really eye catching, while the modern decor is dark and very quite moody as well. There's metallic accents which add contrast and infuse the room with a little bit more grown up glamour. Now looking to another very eye-catching uh, color, looking to eye-grabbing yellow. So this Prabal Grand dress in the really eye-grabbing yellow features a hallmark of current fashion, really exaggerated sleeve detailing. But what we're really looking at is the hue, this very kind of canary yellow. So a similar bold hue dresses up the entrance to this home on the right by Alison Demont Design. This yellow has been trending on front doors for a while in Australia. It kind of overtook the trend of a red front door. We were seeing a lot more uh, yellow on people's uh, front doors. And it's really starting to make its way into more and more interiors this year. A yellow like that really bold or hot pink can be soft and it can be shocking. It can add energy or a mellow vibe. It can excuse, exude sorry, a country charm or be quite edgy and very, very ultra modern. So in other words, it's just very, very versatile and it can work in any room. It's just about finding how it can work for you. So while many people love this kind of sunny color, they tend to steer clear of it while decorating just out of fear that it may look too overpowering in your own home. The key to really doing it right is having a carefully considered plan. So the same as you would if you were to wear a bright yellow top, you would definitely consider the rest of your outfit and how you're going to balance this out. 
So you want to think about whether you want the color to be the room's main attraction or take a supporting role in the space, as well as which shade actually best suits your personality or the personality of your client and whether it's the best fit for the room. It's also important to consider balance. So you're thinking about how you can use different colors and design elements to either enhance or temper the specific shade and the amount of yellow that you've chosen for your scheme. So this uh, inspiring example that we're looking at now is really a study in how to decorate your home using yellow and using quite a few different shades of yellow. And then this next example, this can really show that yellow can provide warmth and character to a very cool muted color scheme. So rather than making any permanent changes to this room or any costly changes like painting a huge feature wall or anything like that, they've chosen to just decorate the space with small accessories in yellow, which you can easily replace. So that way, once the kind of the trend passes or your love affair with the color is over, you can simply swap the accents uh, out for lighter or darker shades or whatever is the next trending color. So the fifth pairing from Fashion Week is a Badgley Mishka uh, with interior designer Elodie Bonnet. So these both are sharing a real love for glossy, bright red. So this kitchen on the right is a kitchen from a southern French home, uh, and it really does feature a glossy red cabinet that echoes the shine of the Mishka dress on the left. The yellow cabinetry and the interiors of those cabinets and the splashback evoke the model's contrasting bright canary yellow earrings as well. And there are several reasons why you should consider working with chic, glossy surfaces like this in your interior. They can add the illusion of more space, lift a bit of a lackluster scheme, and are very easy to clean. So looking at another example of a really bright, glossy red being applied to your home, this has been applied to give an accent wall a bit of extra oomph. <laughs> so they've introduced some gloss into the interiors with this high shine surface that really it instantly attracts attention. So you can paint your walls or even a single accent wall in kind of an attention grabbing high gloss, high gloss paint like this. Accessories and the rest of the space um, really does look for more kind of matte and textured surfaces to balance out that real high gloss and high shine matte of the wall. So you do want to introduce some softer tones like that armchair uh, and some more kind of textural pieces to soften up the space and really just kind of soften those edges. This next sleek living room on the right really does embody the color palette of this lively jogging outfit from Edition L on the left hand side. The mood of this Applegate Tran interiors room is certainly quieter than the outfit on the left, yet they definitely do share a chicness and a real soft tonality. And we saw a lot of this at New York Fashion Week and we in particular are seeing a lot of this trending on house. The style of this room is definitely traditional, almost transitional, but we would class this under traditional. And we are seeing a real resurgence for this trend on House Australia. So traditional style is an interior design style that has remained popular throughout centuries and for good reason. It has charm and grace that does just come straight from history. So leaning towards a more formal look, traditional homes have a stateliness and a real air of kind of paired back success and really deliberate accessories and deliberate tones. This traditional style can suit just about any home, uh, whether it has just been built, is completely new build, or has been standing for over a century. It is quite easy to apply this style in any kind of space. 
And you'll love this style and your client will love this style if they really do favor linen over polyester, more tailored looks over casual. And there are many, many trend reports on house in that story section that do really do a really big deep dive into traditional style and looking at these warmer hues like we're seeing on the screen. So number seven, so our last pairing is dark green and chartreuse. So this is a fantastic color combination. And the look on the left is from Leanne Marshall. So she proves that it can be done in fashion in this amazing dress. And then we do have this example of a landscaping example actually on the right hand side. So chartreuse is one of those kind of love it or hate it colors. So chartreuse is bright, it's eye-catching, and it's halfway between green and yellow. I tend to like colors like this, so those in between two primary colors, just for their versatility. So chartreuse does not disappoint on visual impact. It really does kind of pack a punch in any room. And it does make fantastic pairings with grays, with purple, orange, or dark green. So the Fashion Week look like we saw is really an example of how it can be worked on uh, dark green. And here we're seeing it paired with a few different shades of green actually, as well as that kind of deeper blue on the walls. So chartreuse can be both earthy and eclectic. It's very popular in very modern and industrial design as well. So it can really span the errors and does not need to be used sparingly, but it definitely can. So you can see at this example, this kitchen with the ghostly cat on the floor, uh, they've used it just for their bar stools and it really does uh, kind of make a really nice impact in this very, very modern space. So those are our seven major runway to home inspirations. So we went through Bohemian Glam, Luminescence, Bold Prints, and very kind of bold pink, eye-grabbing yellow, glossy bright red, chic soft tones in traditional styling, and dark rain paired with chartreuse. So these trends are interesting to note, not just for your own styling, but like I mentioned, that of your clients, because I'm sure a lot of these could be applied to many of the clients that you are working with now, particularly for interior designers. Uh, and I just did want to show you lastly that, as you can see on the screen, 44% of users that are coming onto house are planning to redecorate or refurnish their homes this year or in the next 12 months. So little tips and really on trend tips like we just went over may ma make really the perfect match for this client and it is a nice little interesting talking point for them if you can say that this room design was inspired by a New York Fashion Week show. I'm sure a lot of them would be quite interested to hear that. And I did also just want to quickly introduce you to Pro Plus and let you know that because you did attend this webinar today, you actually do get a discount on the program. So I'm sure a lot of you are already a Pro Plus member, others may be completely new to it, but Pro Plus is basically an exclusive marketing program which allows you to get increased exposure for your business in specific geographic areas that you're looking to gain clients. So a lot of homeowners are coming onto their website with a project in mind and an idea of hiring a professional to do it. So House is really providing your business uh, specifically to those homeowners in those areas. So we will push your work, your name, your business in front of those homeowners who one, are looking at photos like yours and two, live in your area or live where you would like to work. So there's quite a lot of different uh, areas and aspects to the program and it is all custom built for you so you do get additional sponsored photos, enhanced placement in our directory, access to really deep analytics about your profiles and your individual photos, you get enhanced exposure in our mobile as well so all across the app you get featured in our newsletter that like I mentioned goes out twice a week 
And you also get a detailed uh, account management team. So you get an account manager for the 12 months of your program to really deep dive into what's working for you, what isn't working for you. And they're really just there to help out through on the whole journey. So we are offering this special offer for those of you who made it to today's webinar. And we'll be offering a discount on Pro Plus, which is valid until the end of October. If anyone is already a Pro Plus member, this discount also applies to any kind of add-ons or anything else that you are looking or discussing with your account manager. So if you are interested, please let me know. Like I said, we will be sending a follow-up email straight after this webinar with the link to the recording, the link to that article to kind of have a bit of a read through. But if you did have any more questions about Pro Plus, do get in touch and we can pass you on to the people that know the most about it. Um, so that is basically it. I have put my email address on the screen right now. Any last questions, please let Emily know, who is waiting here patiently. Um, but like I said, I will send you this email. Anything else you'd like to follow up on, please let us know. And thank you so much for joining today. Enjoy the rest of your day.